Admiralty notices to mariners, often referred to as NMs, are made available daily and weekly so that charts affected by notices to mariners can be updated. You are a very important part of this process. When applying the updates, you'll need to be precise. A chart that is missing a notice or has been incorrectly updated can be as dangerous as not having a chart at all. This film shows how to update a paper chart so that it's clear and accurate and will help mariners to navigate safely. Before you start to update charts, you'll need to have the right equipment and tools. In this section, we'll see the actual tools in action, but in the following sections, we'll be using icons to represent them. You'll need two pens with different nib sizes. A 0.25 technical pen is good for deletions or other updates such as inserting chart limits. A 0.18 can be used for insertions, such as light descriptions. It may also be used for some deletions. You must use violet or magenta ink for the updates, not blue, black or red. Red ink will disappear under the red lighting often used at night on board ships. 7H is the right type of pencil for pinpointing a position. 2B is for normal chart work, such as a guideline for a cable. Your eraser should be used for rubbing out the guidelines on charts. A scalpel can also be useful to nick out detail if you happen to make a mistake. Positionable mounting adhesive will enable you to stick down blocks, notes and tables onto charts. It will provide a neat and permanent fit. Rolling and stepping rules are both perfectly suitable to plot chart updates. Bow dividers are more sensitive for accurate positioning. A 12 or 18 inch plastic ruler is used for the drawing of all line work. A compass with pen attachment is useful for doing large circular areas or the arcs of a sector. A hacksaw blade will allow you to draw the symbol for a cable. The blade should have 14 teeth to 1 inch or 2.5 centimetres. A steel straight edge is a useful tool for finding a position on a chart and for cutting blocks. A template with different hole sizes is used for drawing symbols such as radio reporting points, pilots and small circular areas. Your final piece of equipment is a publication. The MP133A is the paper chart maintenance record. It lists every chart numerically and is used to record updates by their NM number against any chart affected. It's extremely important to keep an up-to-date record of all the updates. Otherwise, you can very easily lose track and you're likely to miss NMs. Notices to mariners consist of textual NMs, tracings and blocks. The textual NMs are your primary source for updating a chart. On receipt of the NMs, identify the charts that are affected and record the relevant NM number in pencil against the chart number in MP133A. Once the update has been applied, the appropriate NM number can be crossed through in pencil. The date of new charts, new editions or withdrawn charts should be entered in ink as a permanent record. Updates can be applied by using a block or a tracing. The tracing acts as a guide to illustrate the update described in the text NM and to pinpoint a position. The tracings are produced in two sizes, either A4 or A5. In the right hand box is the chart number. The next box contains the new chart or new edition date. Next is the small grid which is the quick reference of where the update is on the chart. 
If the cross is in the top left box, then the update will be in the top left hand corner of the chart. For plans, panels, inserts and continuations, a cross is not shown on the grid. Always check the previous update to make sure it's on the chart before you apply the new update. If the NM is missing, you must apply the previous update before inserting the new one. The tracings and the textual NM are used together. The tracings depict the information from the textual NM in a graphic form, so that you can apply the updates quickly and accurately to the chart. To use the tracing with the text from the Notice to Mariners, turn to the relevant page and cross-reference it. It's very important to go through this check-in process before you start applying the update. Only after you've followed the instructions of the NM and applied the update can you write the notice number in the bottom left-hand corner of the chart. This is then a record of the completed update. If applying a year date, underline it so that it won't be confused with an NM number. There are five types of command that you'll have to follow when updating a chart. Insert, amend, replace, move and delete. Insert is used for inserting all new data. Amend is used when a feature remains in its existing charted position but has a change of characteristic. Replace is used when one feature replaces an existing feature and the position remains as charted. Move is used for features whose characteristics or descriptions remain unchanged but are to be moved no more than 3 cm. Delete is used when a feature is to be removed altogether from the chart. In the next section, we'll look at the different symbols that you'll find on the tracings. In this section, we're going to look at some of the special symbols and instructions used on tracings. These are not to be copied onto the chart. They're simply there to highlight the actions that need to be taken. Information that has to be inserted will be boxed on the tracing. The position of the insertion is shown as a small circle with a dot in the middle. An arrow will be shown from the box to the position circle. Information that is to be deleted will be boxed and hatched out by diagonal lines. A deletion symbol will be annotated next to the boxed area. Short lines are used to indicate the turning points of linear features like pipelines, cables or area limits. Firm lines may also be drawn as part of the symbol, with a boxed explanation such as insert a submarine cable. To do the update, you need to use information from the textual NM with the tracing as an additional guide. In the next section, I'm going to show you some examples of how the tracings are used. Now we're going to look at examples of inserting, amending, replacing, moving and deleting. This is the simplest of updates, the straightforward addition of a new buoy. Lay the tracing on the chart, matching the latitude and longitude and then the close fit. The close fit are the depths annotated on the tracing. With your 7H pencil, mark the position through the tracing. Remove the tracing. With your 0.18 pen, draw the circle position on the marked spot. Complete the buoy with a top mark, description, colour and flare. When you finish doing an update, you should always put the tracing back over the chart and recheck the position is correct. The NM should always be applied last. Now we're going to insert a leading line. Fit the tracing to the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the positions through the tracing. 
Start by marking the beacons. Then the position where the pecked line changes to firm. This has to be drawn as shown in the tracing, as it is a measured distance in the textual NM. With your 2B pencil and ruler, draw the line in position. With your 0.18 pen, draw your beacons in first on the position points. With your ruler, draw the pecked and firm line, making sure not to draw over any existing information. Put the legend in last, in the position as indicated on the tracing. Rub out all pencil lines with your eraser. To insert a light sector, fit the tracing to the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the positions through the tracing. First, mark the position for the light. Then mark all the ends of the arms of the sector. Next, mark the positions where the arc of the sector will be. Take the tracing away and with your 2B pencil draw all the straight lines in. Put the tracing back over the chart and check all the positions are correct before you continue. With your 0.18 pen, draw the symbol for a light with flare. And then using a ruler, draw the lines for the arms. These should be in firm and not pecked like the tracing, making sure not to draw over any existing information. Take the pen and fix it into the compass and draw the arcs between the arms. Insert the small arrow heads and then the colours. Take your 2B pencil and ruler and draw a line by the light and flare. With the 0.18 pen, put the description in, close to the light star. Rub out all pencil lines with your eraser. We're now going to perform a more in-depth insert with four boys. Start by fitting the tracing to the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the positions through the tracing. Remove the tracing. With your 0.18 pen, draw the four boys on the positions shown. Remember to add the colour to the base of each boy. If a boy cannot go on the exact position because of other charted detail, draw it in a clear area close by and arrow the boy to the new position. To insert a submarine cable, fit the trace into the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the positions through the tracing. Remember, the change of direction of the cable is shown on the tracing as a small line through the cable. Remove the tracing. With your 2B pencil and ruler, draw the line of the cable in position. Put the tracing back over the chart and check all the positions are correct and you have not missed any before you continue. Take your hacksaw blade and 0.18 pen and follow the pencil line to create the cable by drawing a neat wavy line, making sure not to draw over any existing information. Do not copy the tracing which depicts part cable and part firm line. A boxed instruction will be on the tracing. Use the eraser to rub out the pencil line. To insert a legend, fit the tracing on the chart. The peck lines show the position and in this case the angle of the legend to be inserted. With your 7H pencil, mark the position through the tracing.
Take the tracing away and with your 2B pencil draw two lines. With your 0.18 pen, write works in progress on the top line and the year on the lower line. Write clearly and distinguish between capital letters and lower case. A legend must not be arrowed to a position. It should always be horizontal unless the text of the NM instructs otherwise. Use the eraser to rub out all the pencil lines. The weekly NMs also contain notes that need to be inserted onto charts, and these notes are accompanied by tracings. To insert the note, fit the tracing to the chart. Check the area for size to cut the note to. Cut the note out. Place the note in position, ensuring you do not eliminate any important detail on the chart. Fix adhesive to the note. Rub over with a plastic sheet and tool to make sure the adhesive is fixed to the back of the note. Remove excess glue with your eraser so that you can remove the note from the sheet easily. Place it in position and rub down again with the tools. Rub over with your eraser to take off any glue around the edges. We're now going to look at a mend in the range of a light. Start by laying the tracing on the chart and then the close fit. Here we're replacing 8 to 6 miles with a 7 to 5 miles. Remove the tracing. Using a 0.18 pen, the new information should be written adjacent to the deleted information. Use a 0.25 pen and ruler to delete the old range by crossing it through. In this example, we're going to replace one depth with another in the same position. Fit the tracing on the chart. Note the tracing has in lieu written by the side of the box which indicates that the depth stays in the same position on the chart. Use the 7H pencil to make a small indent to identify the depth to be replaced. Then, with a 0.18 pen, make a small circle to show the position clearly. Write the new depth in, taking the arrow from the base up to the existing position. Don't forget to delete the existing depth. To replace the boy for a boy in description, start by fitting the tracing to the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the position through the tracing, ensuring it is in the same place. The in lieu instruction indicates the position remains the same. Find a clear space close by and with your 0.18 pen draw the boy with the top mark and colour. Draw around the position point of the old boy. Draw an arrow from the new boy to the existing position. To delete the information on the tracing, with your 0.25 pen draw two slanted lines through the boy and colour. And two straight lines through the description. Don't hatch as the tracing. Now we're going to look at some moves. To move a boy, fit the tracing to mark the new position. With your 7H pencil, mark the position through the tracing. Take the tracing away. And with your 0.18 pen, draw a circle at the position you've marked. From the boy that is to be moved, Draw a neat arrow to the new position. Do not write the word move along the arrow. To move a light, fit the tracing on the chart. With your 7H pencil, mark the position through the tracing. Take the tracing away and with your 0.18 pen, draw a circle at the position you've marked. 
From under the position of the existing light star, draw a neat arrow to the new position. With your 0.25 pen and ruler, delete with two straight lines the part of the description that is shaded out on the tracing. Here we're going to do a simple deletion, taking out a boy. Start by placing the tracing in the correct position so you can see what needs to come out. Remove the tracing and with a ruler and a 0.25 pen draw two straight lines through the description. Two lines through the name of the boy and then delete the top mark. Include the position point in the deletion. Finally, two small lines through the flare and the colour. Remember, deletions should be two straight lines, not one. And make sure you do not depict it as a hatched area as shown on the tracing. Here we're going to take out a light, its description and the light sector associated with it. Place the tracing in the correct position so that you can see what's to be deleted. Remove the tracing and with a 0.25 pen and ruler draw two lines through the description. Delete the light star and flare. Now delete the sector arms including the arrowheads that depict the arcs. Do the same with all the arms and the arcs. Lastly, delete the colours, red, white and green, to complete the deletion. Now we're going to delete a note. Fit the tracing to the chart. You will notice that a note that is to be deleted is shown as a boxed and hatched area. It will also show the title of the note you're going to delete. Remove the tracing and check the title to make sure you're deleting the correct note. With your 0.25 pen and ruler, draw two straight lines through the title and a few slanted lines through the text of the note. Put the tracing back over the chart and check the deletion is correct. Some updates are applied as blocks. Blocks are produced when the nature of the update is too complex to be covered by a textual notice. For instance, a pork development. To position a block, you'll need the block itself, a metal rule and a sharp scalpel. Tracings are not produced for blocks, but the textual NMs will give you a central position. All the black line around the edge of the block should be removed. No new information is included within 5mm of the edge of the block. Take the block, cut it out, making sure to keep as close to the black border line as possible. Place the block onto the chart and check the fit. Now, with a 0.25 pen, write the NM number within the area of the block in case the block peels off. Fix adhesive to the block. Rub over with the plastic sheet and use the tool to make sure the adhesive is fixed to the back of the block. Remove excess glue with your eraser so that you can remove the block from the sheet easily. Peel it off and carefully place it onto the chart, making sure you are happy with the fit. Rub over the block again with the tool to fix it to the chart. Rub over with your eraser to take off any glue around the edges. It's worth repeating that the final steps in doing any update are to recheck that its position is correct and no information has been missed by fitting the tracing back onto the chart and finally apply the NM. But what happens if you make a mistake with an update? Simply delete it as if it were a normal deletion and then reapply it.
And as we saw earlier, you can rub out pencil marks with an eraser and you can nick out some pen mistakes with a scalpel, but never use Tipex or other correcting fluid. These examples have illustrated the principles of applying updates to charts so that you'll be able to perform the updates accurately. Most important of all, positions must be exact. Depths and symbols must be clear. Legends and descriptions must be legible. Knowing how to update a chart is vital, but it's just as important to make sure you have a documented and auditable set of procedures, which includes spot checks of the updates by a colleague. For more help with updating, see our publication MP294, How to Keep Your Admiralty Products Up to Date.